hello, and welcome back to Doomed, solo playthroughs through Arkham Horror, the card game with a focus on roleplay and storytelling. I am very happy to have everybody here today. It, oh, as always, of course, the usual disclaimer. If you're watching this on the VOD, check out down below. I've included a link to when we actually get into the action uh, in today's scenario. This is the Dream Eaters scenario 4B, the Weaver of the Cosmos. Ooh. Uh, yes, let's do it. Okay, Crosshair, I'm writing it down, as I always do. Is the fact of me writing it down what's screwing it up, do you think? <laughs> Joke's on you. It's no skulls. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Uh, hello and welcome. I'm very excited to be getting into it today. This is the final scenario of the campaign. Uh... <laughs> Ah, oh, neon lol step. <laughs> um, last week on Doomed, we uh, did the search for Kadath. Nope. Where the Gods Dwell, the final scenario of the dreaming side of the campaign with Luke Robinson. I will probably make reference to the outcome of that scenario multiple times because it was it was heartbreaking. Um, but today we are venturing to the end of Tony Morgan's journey. Tony Morgan, the bounty hunter, in his journey to keep Luke Robinson and the Dreamers safe, and eventually the journey into the underworld itself. Uh, what he will be confronting is today's challenge, which I'm 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 very jazzed. I always am. Uh, last time with Tony, um, uh, point of no return. Yeah, point of no return. Uh, he ventured through the underworld. He met ghouls and ghasts and ghouls and ghasts and what's the last one the big one gugs ghouls and ghasts and gugs um and he managed to find his way to the sea of pitch it was it was pretty tight but like it went well uh if we recall it was pretty tight there at the end i am very excited for today crosshair i believe you'll be very excited as well specifically because of something in the scenario which i have heard tell of and i believe this mod uh, accommodates quite well. There, anyway, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, let's get into it. We'll we'll try to do a little summary and remember where we where the heck we left off and what's going on. As always, Crosshair, let me know if everything's working in terms of volume and so on and so forth. Uh, I have already added the requisite elder thing to the bag. There are now three, which I don't like. Um, these are bad in this scenario. Uh, we chose to have the cat. Hang on, I can read it in the campaign log. The cat spoke of Nyarlathotep, which was the elder god on the dreaming side, uh, which added a elder thing to the bag. Uh, ex well, e exactly, Crosshair, exactly. So yes, actually, I suppose I should mention... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. There's also a minus three. Let's, let's be real. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, you can't see, eh? There you go. Oh, don't, don't you worry about a tank, Crosshair. There's also a my... Yeah, 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 you're good. Um, uh, briefly, we had a interlude before Scenario 4A called The Great Ones, where we uh, the Black Cat spoke about either Nyarlathotep or Atlatnacha. Um, we spoke about... Uh, the uh, Spoke about Nyarlathotep. A cat's low-pitched wail draws your attention to a nearby web. When you arrive, you find the black cat stuck on a patch of particularly sticky web, wriggling back and forth in a vain attempt to free itself. I'm just going to skip through some of this because we've already read it, but see all this webbing? It's a bridge between your world and the dreamlands. If it's completed, the two will merge, understand? Unless you want everything to look like that hospital where your friends are sleeping, you have to stop this at all costs. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Now, interestingly enough, in Scenario 4A... Because the black cat was at Luke Robinson's side, it did remind him a couple of times, this is all a dream. Now, unfortunately, despite being reminded of this several times, Luke Robinson was betrayed. Uh, uh, Randolph Carter, sorry, the thing that was never Randolph Carter, killed Virgil Grey in the dreamscape in Kadath, and then turned into Nyarlathotep, or one of the versions of it. Luke managed to defeat, banish one of its forms, but not the other, and was driven insane. I feel like it's, um, you know, in, in a, like, it's in a, some sort of horrible, uh, like a boss battle for a video game, right? Where 
the first form it defeats it and then you defeat it handily and then it just kind of looks at you and he's just like okay this is getting annoying you know and then he like buffs up and you're Ooh. i think that's where we're at here um i'm getting into it oh this is a very short intro scenario 4b weaver of the cosmos no before i get into it we know where luke robinson ended up insane <laughs> In the place where the gods dwell. But of course, Luke, uh, Tony doesn't know this. He still has the... Uh, he still has the relic from the dreamlands given to him by his long-lost love, Luke Robinson. Uh, he still has... Uh, well, he has a few different sort of um, things. Uh, and he is venturing into the underworld specifically to save him. And now, according to the Black Cat, he is here to stop... Atlat Natcha, the Weaver of the Cosmos. We don't know how yet. He doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know it yet, which is part of the tragedy, Crosshair, I think. Everything has led to this. Virgil's writings, your companion's never-ending sleep, St. Mary's, the Black Cat, all of it. You have no choice but to press on. This trans-dimensional space is home to a creature that would obliterate your world and replace it with a new reality, a nightmare escape. A nightmare escape, a nightmare scape, there we go, of pitch black darkness and creatures that prey on your kind. If you cannot stop its weaving, there will be no earth left to wake up to. You have to do something, even if it means your end. Thank you very much, Crosshair is correct. There's a content warning in the, ti content warning in the title, but of course I should mention it as well. This scenario will deal with spiders. Uh, Atletnacha is referred to as the spider mother, um, <laughs> and has been since the first scenario, so... We'll see how that goes. Gather all the cards together, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Shuffle each copy of The Great Web and put four of them into play at random in a vertical line. Each investigator begins play at the topmost Great Web location. Great. Uh, Crosshair, I'm going to shuffle these up. Give me a number between 1 and 15, and then I'll just divvy the others up. No, sorry. I have to actually wait for you to do it before. Oh, great. Okay. Cool. 1, 2... Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I put it in the bottom most space. So this is yours, Crosshair, right here. It's at the bottom, and I'll take the rest out of there. We begin play at the topmost location, the Great Web. Long, scintillating strands of gossam gossamery web fill the endless pit below the sea of pitch. The great work of the spiders is nearly complete. Yep, exactly. We have to go down the tower, though, this time. Set the following cards aside out of play. I'm not going to read those. Check the number of tally marks recorded to Steps of the Bridge. There are four Steps of the Bridge. I think you can earn more by doing kind of poorly in previous scenarios. Um, I think. But we earned four in the last scenario because we ventured into the Sea of Pitch. Uh, if there are four tally marks, place a Doom on the bottom most location. Ooh. Okay, there's one doom in play there. What else we got? Oh, shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards. Stop! At this point, you're ready to begin playing the Weaver of the Cosmos. Fine, fine, fine. I should mention, of course, Tony um, has come so far now. He's, uh, in terms of the experience I spent, he's got upgraded guns, it, well, slightly better versions of his guns. Uh, he's got another copy of Ever Vigilant because he's of course, ready for the threats that face him. Um, he's got a bit more money, so to speak, resources in his spiritual self. He also found a mysterious relic, which it doesn't replace the Crystallizer of Dreams given to him by Luke Robinson, but somehow the Crystallizer has split into two parts. The original Crystallizer of Dreams, the object that Luke again, brought back to him from the dreamlands, which he sort of said was the actual manifestation of literal dreams. And part of it split off and crafted this strange memento. It is, in fact, Tony's memories of Luke. They've somehow become it, its own gemstone. And hopefully we'll see it in play. Because <laughs> I spent a lot of experience on it. Uh, all right. Let, oh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. 
Agenda 1A, the Bridge of Webs. This vast expanse of space is a bridge between the dreamlands and reality, woven by a terrible spider creature that is the cause of all the distortions you've experienced thus far. If you don't find a way to stop it from completing the bridge, it will open the way for these horrors to enter the waking world. Now, before I read this, I just want to say, I'm trying to figure out if Atlatnacha, this spider creature, is some sort of manifestation of Nyarlathotep. Are they related? Because they both seem to be progressing towards the same goal, right? Like, maybe it... Maybe Nyarlathotep created this horrible nightmare creature as a way of being able to infiltrate the waking world. Perhaps. And so, Luke being in the Dreamlands had to face off against the actual Elder God, but Tony only has to face off against this manifestation of it. This agenda gets plus two, per investigator, Doom Threshold. So it actually has a Doom Threshold of nine. Forced, when this agenda advances, ah, do not remove Doom from locations in play. Rules-wise, uh, a Doom is added to the agenda every round. Um, but Doom in play on enemies on locations counts towards the total. Normally, when you advance the agenda, it removes all the Doom in play, including on enemies. <laughs> This does not remove it on locations. We want to avoid that if we can. Mm, that's really cool. I like Nyar and Nyan. Nyan cat. Cats. Nyan cat, the dreamlands. I get it. Act 1A, journey across the bridge. You realize now that you're no longer in the dreamlands or the waking world, but somewhere else entirely. A Stygian void wherein dwells the weaver of the cosmos. It is not just your world at stake, but the Dreamlands as well. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. So the Weaver of the Cosmos is going to take over both, maybe. Each location is connected to each location above and below it. Fine. If each investigator is at the bottommost most location, they may spend the requisite number of clues, three, to advance. I need three clues. I need to be at the bottom. Tony is running down this uh, terrible place. We don't know what the future holds. We do know that we have bounties, we have money, we have resources, we have guns, we have our wits, and we have our experience. Let's draw our opening hand, team, for the last time this scenario. Let's get doomed. Brzinga, hi, welcome to doomed. Drawing five, whoa! Okay, I like this. Money, money, soak, <laughs> sorry, money, uh, a clue tool and a gun. I'm definitely keeping the gun because I have no doubt there are going to be enemies in this scenario. I kind of want to throw back the flashlight. I wonder if that's crazy, because I could also play it. I'm just wondering what I would play this turn. I would definitely play Lone Wolf. I probably wouldn't play the Mouser, straight out. I would definitely play Dario. Yeah, let's toss back... Oh, this is wild. I can't believe I'm tossing back a... F no, it's a singleton in my deck. I can't do that. No, we're leaving it. We're leaving it just like this. I can't believe it. Okay, done. Here we go. Let's get doomed. Tony Morgan finds himself on the... Well, in this... They called it a Stygian Void. Falling through the Sea of Pitch. He's landed with a thud on one of these platforms. Supported in the Dark Void by nothing but these thin strands of webbing. Sticky, horrible <laughs> spider webbing. Let's have a look at our first space. The Tangled Web. A mess of thick webs connect each of the islands which hang in this bottomless void. That's so cool. I think that's such a cool image. Uh, forced, when the investigation phase ends, if there is at least one investigator at this location, place a doom on this location. It's got two clues. Um. Well, I don't want to be here <laughs> when the round ends, so I might honestly just get out of here. Yeah, I'm. Isn't that wild? I might play some assets and move, and then maybe I'll come back if I have to. Because there, th I need three clues, right? Ugh. Do I want to do this? Tony finds himself tangled up in the web, but he's able to sort of cut that out quite quickly. He's looking around, and he he's kind of looking down as the platforms stretch infinitely, it looks like, below him. 
but each of them is just a short hop away. Am I going to be able to get this clue? No. Three to two? Oh, the flashlight would really help. Can I afford a single doom? Can I afford a single doom? I'll come back. I'll come back momentarily. Yeah, this is the question, right? Lone Wolf. Memories of his patron, Dario. And then I'm going to move. <laughs> and then next, we're going we're gonna to open up some map and see what we can do. Because this tangled web might have more information about Atlatnacha, but perhaps we will see if there's other information. Ah! Oh, okay. This is the web-woven island. Oh, it's an island made of webs. That's nice. Ugh, his shoes kind of grab and stick at the floor as he ventures down further. This is a one shroud, one clue location. As an additional cost to investigate it, spend an action or place a doom. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, that's the end of my turn. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and now I can go back if I really need to. Let's upkeep. I draw a card. <laughs> okay, it's the other copy of Lone Wolf. That's fine. Tony is, he's been given very clear instructions, right? You must prevent Atlanacha from finishing its web, but he can already see these islands are already connected by by thousands of miles or kilometers, you know. At the time, it would have been miles in America, right? Uh, connected by thousands of kilometers of, of webbing. How is he going to be able to undo all of it? We're at one, actually two out of nine doom, and we draw an encounter card. Isn't that annoying? This says seven, but it's actually nine. This says one, but it's actually two. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> Let's draw an encounter card. Will of the Spider Mother. Ha ha! Ugh. The will of the Spider Mother is to complete this glorious task, right? One, actually two of seven, actually not. Exactly, Crosser. Infuriating. Revelation, test, will, three. If uh, if there's a spider, you can't commit cards. If you fail, you can't attack or investigate until the end of the round. Oh, no. Well, I'm definitely failing. Oh, man. Uh, I can't, I'm not throwing in money on this test. I'm not throwing good money after bad. Let's just... I guess the will of the spider mother is that uh, Tony is unable to find anything before she's done her glorious work. Let's just test. I'm testing two to three because you never know. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the elder thing is minus three. If this skill test fails to Oh, sorry, Crosshair. This is my first token pull. It was an elder thing. Which has a um which has a minus three on it. If this skill test fails during an attack against a spider, place a doom on that enemy's location. That's good to know. That means I want to be three up if I can. Um, okay, so I fail. Uh, okay, so I can't attack or investigate. Well, that's fine. That's fine, because I'm gonna do other stuff instead. Um. Yeah, you know what? I think this is a little wild, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play Faustian Bargain. And he gets five resources and two curses. Tony takes a moment to really... Oh, hi! Looks like I leaped 20 minutes! Woo! Reading. Wow, you gotta be careful about testing that time machine. 20 minutes could have been 20 years. <laughs> you gotta be careful. <sighs> Hi, and welcome to Doomed. Good to see you. Um, Tony kind of feeling the, the intense pressure from the creature somewhere below him kneels down and offers up a prayer to the powers that be. He's not a pious man, not in the slightest. He basically clasps his hands together and he says, whatever I need to do, to rescue Luke, to defeat this thing, to destroy the evils of this world, the monsters of this universe, I will give it. And in that way, he makes himself a Faustian bargain, a cursed pact. Um, and I'm going to... I can't investigate, so maybe I'll just draw a card second. That's exactly what I wanted. Taking a breath after making this plea... Tony is ever vigilant, so I'm going to play up to three assets for my hand. One, 
and two. I'm not going to play another Blown Wolf because I can only have one. But it only costs me three. What a bargain! <laughs> oh, and I should have gained a resource from Lone Wolf at the start of my turn. Tony Morgan is... Um... He's really just making sure he has everything prepared. He's taking it slow. He's, he's not one to rush into danger, right? A bounty hunter always needs intel on his target first, and then he stalks his prey like a, like a panther <laughs> or something. We go enemy upkeep phase. I'll get rid of the will of the spider mother. We upkeep into a counter espionage. You'll love to see it. We go to the mythos phase where we go to two, actually three out of seven, actually nine. <laughs> I'm trying to counter. Okay, I'm pretty geared up as it is. Yeah, not bad, hey? Not bad. It's nice starting on 7. And indebted means I don't have um, a weakness in my deck. Well, uh, an extra weakness in my deck. I got a gun. I got a flashlight. I'm a lone wolf. I got memories of my investor here. This is very good. Um, Yeah. Oh, oh! Ancient evils. <laughs> Do I want to cancel this? I could pay four and just not add a doom and draw a card instead. Our favorite art, that is. Yeah, look at that. Every t I, I, I know I've said this on the stream before. I'm going to say it again. Every time I see this art, I only see the tentacles in the archway first. So it looks like a little music box that's about this big with little like woo -woo, like tentacles like this, tiny ones. And then you see the person at the foreground and you're like, oh, it's massive. <laughs> um, wild, I'm doing it, counter espionage. No, uh, so the ancient evils, of course, dark forces are stirring against Tony, but he is prepared for them. He can never be prepared for what he is about to find below, but at the very least, <laughs> yeah, that's a rel it's like a relatively normal kind of size for an eldritch creature. He can never be prepared for what he's found below, but all of his his whole experience so far in St. Mary's at the, at the Unnameable, the house, uh, in the underworld, it's prepared him for something like this. So I'm going to play Counter Espionage. Um, fast, play when you draw a treachery, cancel it, and then draw the top card of your deck because I'm paying one, two, three, four resources. It's a lot of resources, but I get a card out of it and not a doom. Feels good. Turn begins. Lone wolf fires. Okay. We need three clues, right? That's the game plan. <laughs> this whole time I've just been like setting up. Normal is a very unusual concept here. In order to investigate web woven island, I have to spend either an action or place a doom on this location. We're going to uh, spend two actions to investigate it with the charge from the flashlight. This makes me three to one, uh, three to zero, in fact. Huh, rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Uh, Crosshair, I'm drawing my next chaos token. Three to zero. That is a skull. I'll give you a check mark there, Crosshair. Uh, wait, what the hell does a skull do, though? The highest amount of doom on a location. Oh, it's going to be adding a lot of doom. That's minus one, so it's a success. Okay. Shining, shining his flashlight around the space, Tony is able to get a sense of the... Well, certainly that this island is adrift in a sea of absolute nothingness, which extends as far as the eye can see in every direction. This sort of smattering of islands seems to be concentrated where he is, almost as if falling through the sea of pitch led him here. And he can hear sort of chittering, clacking sounds from below, and he can see tiny little spiders running along the webs back and forth, just finishing them off. Uh, I'm going to last action. I'm doing it. I'm moving down to another location, hoping that I can maybe get <laughs> spider webs, spider webs, spider webs. More spider webs. Oh, the cosmic web. Oh, obviously the flashlight revealed this glowing. Well, here, yeah, this section of web shimmers with an otherworldly glow. Fun. Uh, forced. Uh-oh. After you enter this location, test will three. Ooh. If you fail, you must either choose and discard a card from your hand for each point you fail by, or place a doom on this location. Well, I think I'm just going to lose my hand. Doesn't... <laughs> 
<laughs> Just like in that game, the council. <laughs> He's not mad about it. Let's test two to three. I'm not happy, but I'm not. Oh, that's a curse. Well, okay, you know what? Take a curse out of the bag. Fine by me. Sure, I failed anyway. The, the cosmic web glows. Well, like it says with an otherworldly glow. This is perhaps some sort of nexus of power. It's hard for Tony to tell. He doesn't know what any of this is. But he has yet to see another living creature. But he can feel them. So I failed by four. Well, I failed by three. I have to discard. Now, this is interesting. You must either choose and discard a card from your hand for each point you fail by, or place a doom on this location. I fail by three. But I can't discard three cards. You did say that, Crosshair. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. So the question is, am I allowed to choose the first option? Yeah, that is true. Well, that sucks. I am guess, okay, right, right, well, you know, you know what? Uh, there's a doom on your location. Blah. What's that? Two, two in play now, which aren't going to leave, theoretically. It's the end of the investigation phase. We go to upkeep. We draw a card. Well connected. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really going to help you down here, Tony. Blah. <laughs> go to mythos. Three, four, five out of nine doom already. Oh, me clues. Let me draw an encounter card here at the Cosmic Web. Cryptchill! That's... 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 That's bad. If you fail... Oh, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. If you fail, choose and discard an asset you control. The thrumming of power from the Cosmic Web draws Tony in close, but as he approaches, a sudden blast of Arctic air engulfs him. And he's gripping tightly onto anything he can just to make sure that he doesn't you know drop his weapons or or anything uh let's um yep two to three two to four sorry yeah that's i mean surprise i failed so i have to discard an asset i control what am i going to drop here i could play another lone wolf from hand so not such a big deal Boop. we're back around First action, I'm going to play another copy of Lone Wolf. <laughs> Get out of here, Cryptchill! Ah, he's still a Lone Wolf. You can't stop me. Okay. Let's see. The Great Web is for Shroud. We really want to try to see what secrets it has. Tony would be investigating three to two. It's not great. Should we just sit here and draw cards? Like, that feels kind of bad, too, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe not. I'll draw a card. Ooh, and then last action. Dario gives me two resources. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much close. It's pretty much what you normally get, Crosshair. One and a half out of four. <laughs> or one and three quarters out of four. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's so many different kinds of tokens, right? Tony Morgan stares up at the web, trying to figure out what it is that it is trying to tell him. Why, if it is indeed a place of power, are there no creatures here that he can hear things working, but he doesn't know why they're not here? Upkeep draws me another copy of Well Connected. And I go to four, five, six out of nine doom. Let me draw an encounter card. Endless weaving. A scheme! Choose a spider and play. Okay. If there are no spider enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. I love it. I'll tell you why. Tony is gonna fight. Uh, that's a that's a beefy boy, but victory doesn't really matter here. Who I want to take? Web spinner is aloof, but that's okay. Uh, what else do I have here? Swarm. Swarms of spiders? Blech. Oh god, there's so many spiders in this. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm trying not to stare at them too much. Exactly, Crosshair. So, the web spinner is aloof. I'm going to put a bounty on it. 
<laughs> Tony, uh, just like in the hospital, Tony's like, well, nobody's hired me to clean up these spiders, but I'm sure someone's going to pay me later when I tell them what I did to save humanity. This is a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. It's aloof, though. It spawns at empty locations. At the end of the round, if web spinner is ready, place a doom on its location. Because it is, of course, spinning webs to speed and hasten the end of the world. Uh, well... That's that. So we come back around to the investigation phase. I gain a resource from Lone Wolf. I'm going to first action pay two to play scene of, of the crime. Uh, it does count investigators, but, Crosshair, you are correct. Um, it does say here. Oh, shoot. You're right. Sorry, Crosshair. Thank you very much. It doesn't say draw it and spawn it at your location. It just says draw it. So I'm going to put that back and retcon that real quick. Thank you very much. Um, I think we're going to draw a swarm of spiders instead. Yucky ducky. All right. Ah, good job. Ah. This is the swarm of spiders um, attacking uh, Tony. So it's, it has swarming too, so obviously. Suddenly from above, he, he understands s s finally and in an instant why the cosmic web is glowing with such power. It is not drawing in creatures. It is in fact made of the energy out of which are birthed additional spiders and they burst forth all in an instant. Uh, my first action, like I said, I'm gonna play scene of the crime, discover a clue at your location. It doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. This realization is the thing that uh, Tony is able to, uh, well, it kind of unlocks some meaning for him yeah, I know. <laughs> it's true, Crosshair. No, but thank you. Like, I there are certain cards that say, like, spawn it at your location. You know, because the card wants you to have to deal with an enemy. But, like, I just didn't read it fully, and I should. No excuses. This is the final scenario. Let's party. I win or I die by the rules. <laughs> or whatever makes a good story. Uh, okay, so I got the clue from the location. Great. Now there's a swarm of spiders upon us. Ah, let's fight. Let's fight. I am so ready to kick some ass. This is uh, the Mauser. Um, exhaust Mauser, spend an ammo, fight. You get plus two and deal plus one damage for this attack if you succeed by two or more. Ready Mauser or gain a resource if you succeed by four or more. Do both. The machine pistol pops out of uh, Tony's coat and begins to spray fire lead at the spiders as they stream down. Uh, yeah, I, oh, I absolutely can. I'm wondering if I should, though, because like I'm wondering if I should spend bounty contracts for later. That's right, Kung Fu Fenris. Pew, 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 pew! Um... I feel like if you're dealing with a swarm of little spiders, you don't want like a big shotgun. You want something that blasts a whole bunch all at once. Oh, I know, but it's but it's like semi-automatic, right? Or fully automatic even? Um, I feel like against these little spiders, these little guys, I feel like it's probably okay. So let's do, okay, semi. Well, it's still, it's still good. <laughs> semi. Uh, let's do it, let's fight. So. I'm fighting one of the spiders, which has one combat. I have seven combat with the mouser. Um, let's party. Seven to one. A skull, which I believe is minus one, the highest amount of doom on a location in play. The, the, the weapon spits fire as it drives the uh, creatures away, screaming into the void. I killed two of them. Uh, I succeeded by four or more, so I'm going to ready the mouser and gain a resource. Feels so good. Uh, and then, I could just fight again, or I guess I could just punch it. No need to no need to get greedy here, hey? Probably save my ammunition for the, the baddie coming. There's a boss coming for sure, I can tell. This is that kind of thing. Uh, let's fight again. Five to one. Pew! Ooh! Elder sign! Put a bounty on bounty contracts. Tony's boots are flying as his machine pistol runs out. Click, 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 click. He's 
pulling out another uh, magazine, sliding it in as he is using his heavy combat boots to drive off the remainder of the swarm. I'll take a resource for killing this swarm of spiders. Feels good. Um, and then uh, let us let us move the hell on. We need one more clue, which I'm hoping I can find on this bottommost location. I wish I had time to go back to that topmost location, but feels bad because I would have to like go all the way back down. So we're gonna move last action down to uh, you know f waiting for a like well not waiting but like not waiting around for another swarm to emerge from this great web. Um, <laughs> it's a gun that shoots musical jingles. Dee, 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 dee. Bang. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, not wanting to wait around for uh, more spiders to emerge from the energy of the cosmic web, Tony hops down another level to the web woven island. Oh, that's fine. As an additional cost to investigate it, spend an action or place a doom. Oh, great. I'll be able to get my last clue here momentarily. Upkeep brings us Randolph Carter. Well, well, well. Oh, damn. Irafana. Wild. Damn. Irafana. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Crosshair. In fact, your 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 choice was quite quite good. I, I thank you for it, really. Um, it's obviously going to kill me at some point, this scenario, but uh, you live and you learn. So we go to five, six, seven doom out of nine. Nice. So, Aravana, is it just like, you know, is that at the end of the song, it goes like, dan, 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 dan. Is that the idea? <laughs> I like the idea that there's a hole in the record. So every time it goes over that place, it just skips, you know? Horrible. <laughs> that would be so bad. That would be so bad. Yeah, yeah. Super fair, Crosshair. Super fair. The early 90s were a different time. Do you know what I mean? All right. Mythos. We're at, what What did I just say? Seven out of nine doom? Ah, draw an encounter card. Oh, no. It's the web spinner. Oh, man. Okay. So the energy from the great web, uh, Tony can kind of see as he hops down another level. He watches it form not into another singular, not into a swarm, but into a singular larger spider, sort of a worker bee. And it begins to spin the energetic web out further and further, creating another strand that leads off into the darkness. At the end of the round, if web spinner is ready, place a doom on its location. Yeah, so my hope is that I'll have a chance to go back and get it or something. Investigation phase. Yes, we go to 10 resources, which gives me one will and one book. I like that. I'm going to spend two actions to investigate. I have four intellect against the one of this location, and I'm going to toss in a well connected to be five. Tony is desperately looking for more ways down to try to find out where the creatures are that are making these sounds five what did i just say five to one yeah good that seems good done get the clue now is it at the end of the round or is it whenever they may spend the requisite number of clues to advance do i do it now yes i do it now here's why at the end of the round this would put a doom here then another doom would go on the agenda. That would advance the agenda. So I should definitely take advantage now. I think I should. Tony's reached the as far down as he can get. Uh, I'm going to spend my three clues and advance because I, I don't know. <laughs> I still have an action left, right? In fact, I have two if I get an enemy. Oh, dear lord. Oh, god. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> that, my friend, is Edgar. <laughs> Read scenario interlude, The Spider Queen. Then advance to Act 2A, The Weaver of the Cosmos. Well, okay, so it's going to go poorly. The Edgar of Dreams. You climb a precipice of stone and behold the enormous... So, Tony's been going down, 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 down to this this bridge. This, like, um, what was it? Sorry. 
before I read any more. It's an island, a web-woven island, right? But it's kind of connected to, like, this rise of rock. Ooh, Kung Fu Fenris, has this person come in yet? That's exciting. I can't wait to have a look. Correct, Crosshair, exactly. So there's, like, a little rise, at which point he can see spread out below him the enormity of the spider's... <laughs> That's right, Kung Fu Fenris. Behold the enormity of the spider's bridge and the thing astride it. Atlatnacha. Burp. Atlatnacho. Nacha. God of spiders, accompanied by its horde of weavers. The many legged monstrosities continuously intertwine strands of cosmic web, toiling endlessly with nightmarish fervor. What do you think, Kung Fu Fenris? You can tell me. As the awful creatures weave each thread, you feel reality and dreams distort, collide, and crash together. So it's weaving this cosmic web that seems to be intertwining both reality and dreams. In the distance, waves of dream break upon the rocks of reality. Yeah, I wonder who that was, Crosshair. Maybe it was uh, Randolph Carter or something. Me too, Kung Fu Fenris. Reality crashes upon itself into the surging amorphous dream. You can barely comprehend the strange shifting vistas. A sticky web hangs off the side of your vantage point, like a silken ladder leading to your doom. Oh, damn. Damn. Wild, Aravana. Damage spree of vehicles and buildings growing up. $120,000 worth. So this is like, if you're a miner and, you know, someone comes to your door and they're like, excuse me, your son dealt $120,000 in damages. If it's private property, people probably sue you. If it's public property, do you have to pay the city? I don't know. Wild. Check the campaign log, sorry. If Randolph survived the de descent and the black cat knows the truth. That, okay, definitely not. But if Randolph survived the descent, I believe that's true. Yes, Randolph survived the descent because he's here, right? Oh, really? Oh, you actually knew the person. Wow. Wild. Wild. Uh, proceed to the Spider Queen 3. You begin to climb down the web to the platform below, from which you can reach the edge of the bridge and Atlachnacha itself. Halfway down... The suspended platform jolts and starts to sway violently from side to side. You grip the silken threads tightly, hoping that the sticky web will keep you from falling. You look to Randolph to make sure he's okay. But it's then that you notice he's not climbing above you as you suspected he would. You look up to find your companion scowling at you from above. God damn it, Randolph, a blade of onyx in his hands. He has cut a segment of the web upon which you are climbing. You have no time to ask what he's doing before he severs the web completely. You plummet to the rocks below, landing painfully on your back. Ooh. When you look back up at Randolph, his countenance has changed. Foolish mortals. I was never going to allow you to save your companions. You have an errand of mine to run, and that is your sole purpose. If you wish to live, complete this task for me. He peers across at the unfathomable distance. Spider, sorry, that looms before you. Damn that word. Really, really cool, Aravana. Really cool to know someone sort of in that position. I think that's awesome. <clears throat> he peers across at the spider that looms before you. I shall be the one to claim your world, not that thing. Then, not Randolph, simply turns and walks away. Okay, Crosshair, so question answered. Randolph Carter was always uh, near Lathotep, and it has tricked both Luke Robinson and Tony Morgan. It tricked Luke into going to sleep to come and confront it, so that it could trick Tony Morgan into going to the underworld to defeat Atlatnacha to prevent it from ex like destroying the Dreamlands. That's wild. In your campaign log, record that the investigators are trapped in Atlatnacha's realm. Oh no! Tony is trapped. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's right. Well, Kung Fu Fender is so in the scenario 4A last week. Um, Randolph Carter killed Virgil Gray and then became the mist or whatever. And it just said, you know, the creature that was never Randolph Carter, yada, 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 yada. You're in Lathotep. Apparently so. 
at latch na chaz realm. That's going to get really annoying to say. If an investigator's deck contains Randolph Carter, remove him. Well, oh, depending on your difficulty, add a token. Oh, no, minus four. Oh, my God. Son of a... Well, this is going to get rough. Okay, so just... <laughs> Only 300 or so of them are cats. Oh, and I just drew him. Well, he's gone now. That's disappointing. Proceed to the Spider Queen 4. The creature is close to completing its design. Its legs move about swiftly, spinning thread after thread of cosmic silk with unearthly determination. It scarcely even recognizes your presence. Perhaps if you can sever its legs or tear apart the webbing on which it stands... Dot, 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 dot. Okay, remove each location from the game except the bottommost location. Okay. That's fine. That's fine because this web spinner goes away. That feels great, actually. Remove each location in the game, except for the bottommost. Shift it so that it is at the top of the play area. Sounds good. So we've arrived here now. I'll just remove these for now because I don't know what's going to happen here. Shuffle the remaining set aside the great web locations and place seven of them in a circle along with the investigator's location as the topmost location in the circle. Until the end of the scenario, each location is connected to each location next to it, clockwise or counterclockwise. Place seven of them in a circle, along with my location at the top. Okay. Alright. Crosshair, you get to choose the bottommost location, so 1 to 11, please. Just giving you some fun here. Don't say 13. Okay, perfect. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's gonna go down there. Shuffle these back up. We're gonna make it was take seven. So I'm not, not really sure how this is gonna work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that, right? Yeah. It's a, okay. Well, it's a bit of a heart right now, but. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it makes a circle. Sure. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why not? Assemble at Latnacha. <laughs> Assemble? What is this, a transformer? By performing the following steps. Now, I'm pretty sure this mod has, a, has something for this. Ah. Arrange the... For oh, actually. Oh, maybe I should, hey? Ah, oh, look at it now. It's a cute little heart of spiders. Okay. Oh, actually, no, hang on. I'm pretty sure I'm not... Uh, we'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. Here, hang on. Right. Okay. Here's Atletnacha, because there's a thing on it that just says place. I don't know what it's going to do. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Oh, it's got little... um. It's got little uh, positions. Okay, great. So let's do that instead. Okay. Good God. Look at this beast. This is, this is, I don't know what this is. Well, it's Atla Nacha. Okay, let's, let's go back to the setup and we'll see. Arrange the four legs of Atlatnacha enemies next to it, as depicted in the diagram. Yeah, I think so too, Crosshair. Get your drinks! I'll keep doing setup, and then I'll explain when we're there. Place the assembled Atlatnacha in the center, so that one corner of each of the legs touches a different location. Spawn this, uh, shuffle the set aside, spinner in darkness, along with the discard pile, and then see the rules. All right, actually, Crosshair, if you haven't gone, I'll just explain the rules. But maybe you will... This is this is bad. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, perfect, perfect, perfect. Atlat Natcha's form comprises multiple legs of Atlat Natcha enemies. Each of these enemies operates as a separate enemy with the massive keyword and is considered to be engaged with each investigator at its location. Each legs is considered to be at the location its corner is physically bordering, as depicted in the diagram below. So okay, so corner to corner. So, so if we just take a look right now, this corner is touching this location. This corner is touching this location, right? So it's currently 
It's the four corners have a leg each, where, and I'm starting at the top. Good lord. What the hell is this crap? At let Natch's center card in each legs should remain in the same formation at all times, even if one card is removed. As a result, legs of Atlet Natcha cards cannot move or be moved except by effects that spin it. If you, oh, because it's a spinner, because it's spinning webs. Okay. If you are instructed to spin it one or more times, <laughs> so stupid, rotate all of the cards in the center in the indicated direction such that each of the legs moves clockwise that many locations. So, for example, they're showing here, clockwise once means that this corner goes to this next thing it's so i agree crosshair just imagine this giant spider and then it's like spin feels like a video game boss oh that's do not read okay okay so spinning it will move it clockwise and then there's oh look at this there's a little rotate helper oh my god can you imagine you pull this out of the box and you're like you want me to what and then you have to like figure out what it is Let's have a look. The legs of Atlat Natcha are Ancient One Spider Elite enemies. They have X Combat, 3 health, and 3 agility, 3 per investigator health. So that's okay for me. Massive. Can't make it cannot make attacks of opportunity. So even if it's at a location, if we play an asset or investigate, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't attack you. Okay. Because the legs are busy, right? The legs are busy weaving. X is the shroud value. Forced. When you would evade it, instead of exhausting it, choose an investigator at your location. It can't attack for the chosen. It can't attack that investigator. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be evading it, so that's probably fine. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. Okay, okay. Perfect crosshair. I'm going to save as well. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. We haven't advanced the agenda yet. Let's read Act 2A. Atlet Natcha is distracted by its mindless task. Now's your chance! <laughs> Action. Spend a clue. Deal three damage to an ancient one at your location. Oh! Spend a clue to blow up one of the legs, because they only have three health each. Okay, well, I don't have any clues. But if I got more clues... Not the worst thing in the world. Forced. Ah, when the mythos phase begins, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If its modifier is negative, spin at Latnatcha clockwise X times. <laughs> Wee! Objective. If four legs of at Latnatcha are in the victory display, advance. Okay. Tony. Look, Tony is no intellectual. He's no professor, scientist, occult theorist. He's a bounty hunter. He knows what it takes to destroy those uh, who cross him. And this creature is far bigger and more terrifying than anything he has ever seen before. And yet, its legs are balanced precariously on outcroppings made mostly of web. If, like Randolph Carter did to him, he can sever the ties between them, the legs may drop off into infinity. Or he could just, you know, shoot them. I have a single action left. I'm not going to move, because then I'm going to get hit by these legs. Oh! Oh, for sure, Kung Fu Fenris. For sure. This is kind of the thing, like... I, I, part of me is like, you know, oh man, like, Luke Robinson didn't quite make it. He was confronted by, you know, ultimate insanity. Meanwhile, Tony Morgan's just like, doop, 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 like, falling down an infinite staircase, like, oh, I guess I met some ghouls down there. Oh, cool, like a sea of pitch, like, no big... Oh, a giant spider? Like, ch -ch -ch, like point me in the right direction. You know, he's <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Wild. Um. Okay, hang on. Can I put bounties on them? Oh, let's can go. After an enemy enters play, move bounties to it. Oh my god. Let's go! Bounties on the legs! Oh my gosh. I am gonna knock this guy out cold. Last action. We're gonna play a well-connected and hopefully be able to use it at some point. Okay. In the enemy phase, there are no legs at my location. There are no enemies. So the legs continue to work tirelessly. 
Ah, Crosshair, welcome back. Um, so, Crosshair, just to catch you up really quickly. My last action, I didn't want to move into a legged location, so I played Well Connected, just to have it down. Uh, however, I should mention, Act 2A, Crosshair, says, defeat the four legs. When the Mythos phase begins, spin it around. It also says, action, spend a clue, deal three damage to an Ancient One at your location. How much health do they have? Three health. I could probably just shoot him to death, but I can also spend a single clue to blow him up. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Okay. In the enemy phase, they are working tirelessly, so upkeep draws me a Faustian bargain. We go up to nine resources. In the mythos phase, I am now at six, seven out of nine. Doom. Not bad. And we draw an encounter card. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, obviously. Obviously, at Latnatcha's weavings are indeed an ancient evil. And Tony is frozen momentarily as he realizes the enormity of the task before him. But he's not one to give up without a fight. <laughs> well, actually. So that's eight. So seven, eight. But it has plus two doom threshold. So it doesn't advance right now. We just lost a turn. Uh, that's cool. So, oh, right, sorry. Sorry. When the Mythos phase begins, we reveal a random token. The skull has a minus one. Highest amount of doom on play. So we rotate this guy once. Whoa! Woo! And they all have bounties on them. Okay, so then now all of a sudden, Atlet Natcha turns its horrendous maw further away but suddenly there is a leg smashing down into the island just in front of Tony. Tony, now's your chance. Take a resource from Lone Wolf. Let's party. I am going to I am going to absolutely destroy this fool. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm doing it. Uh The Four Bounties of the Apocalypse. Exactly reading. Oh my god. I am I am so excited. We're going to blow this guy up. Crosshair, remind me to play the scenario with you at some point. I guess we should play the whole campaign so that we don't just play the boss fight, but the Mauser comes out and Tony is searching for an opening. He takes his takes aim before firing with a vicious blow. Uh, so, okay, I'm fighting at five, six, seven, eight, two, <laughs> one. Because <laughs> X is the shroud value. Okay, eight to one. Here we go. ka -chow! Gah. Reveal another token? <laughs> Eight to one! Ooh! Okay, excellent. So, huge. Uh, Tony can see between the plates of Chitin on the leg. that Just as they bend and flex, muscle kind of pokes out strands, much like the strands of the web. But these are made of sinew. Uh... I gain a bounty contract, I ready the mouse or I gain a resource from it, and the leg explodes as he targets the sinew. I dealt three damage to it, so it goes in the victory display. No big, no big, no big. No, I can't do that every time. Exactly, Crosshair. For what it's worth, I hope you're wrong, obviously, but... Uh... <laughs> Okay, well that was that was pretty exciting. That was pretty cool. Uh, oh, I'm back up to these stats. So we're going to move on and look for additional clues. We're going to see what we can do to try to s defeat the rest of Atlat Nacha. The Great Web to the east. Oh, a high Ripley. Oh, it's another copy of Tangled Web. When the investigation phase ends, if there's at least an investigator, one investigator at this location, place a doom on this location. I think I think I can afford this now. I'm gonna regret that. Let's investigate. I'm gonna grab clues. Yeah, exactly. It will, but it won't wipe the doom from locations in play, which does suck. But that's okay. That's okay. Because here's the thing: two clues means they each blow up a leg, right? Like we're like I feel like we're already doing quite well. So I'm going to spend a flashlight charge and we're going to investigate here. Tony is looking for anything that he can use in his fight 
perhaps, um, you know, something to lure or perhaps, uh, you know, high ground from which he can, like... <laughs> oh, hello, Evan! Legacy leg. Yeah, yeah, see? Hey, oh, hey, oh. Uh, yes, one of the legs has already exploded. <laughs> Welcome to Doomed, by the way. Uh, let's investigate four to zero because of the flashlight. That's a success. Get a clue. And let's do it again, huh? Uh, actually, I'll save the flashlight charge and we'll hit well connected to go six to two. That works for me. Grab the last clue. Tony is examining this region for anything that he can maybe use in his fight, right? He manages to find, indeed, uh, some, uh, some strange relics left over from another traveler. Like it's a, you know, it's a backpack filled with pots and pans. But in it also, there's like gems and strange uh, rubies, things that he feels like he could probably use as a good way to draw the attention of the legs when they return. Um, in the enemy phase, there's no legs at my location, so we just go straight to upkeep, where I draw sleight of hand, which is fine for now. I don't really need that. Eight. Nine. Oh, sorry, and of course there's now one on the Great Web as well. I totally forgot. That's fine. So, we remove the Doom on the agenda from play, and we advance. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. This is at the beginning of the Mythos phase. Yes, sorry, Crosshair. Thank you, you're absolutely right. When it begins. So, we're going to spin. We're going to reveal a random token. We spin that spider. We're going to rotate it twice <laughs> oh no no everything's so far away now ah ah it's okay actually i could just go back kill this one again <laughs> okay now mythos advances agenda 1b a breath of fresh air there is no <laughs> a breath of fresh air there is no air in this interdimensional space. Even in the bleak pits of the underworld, you sensed cold wind coiling through the depths or nor warm, noxious gas rising from the sea of pitch. But here, there is nothing. No air, no atmosphere, no life whatsoever, save for you and the spiders who work nears completion. Just as you are contemplating how anything can exist at all in this awful world between worlds, you hear a sound like the stretching and tearing of fabric. There's a rush of billowing air, or, uh, there, then a rush of billowing air erupts all around you, filling the vastness of the realm like dust in a vacuum. This wind must be coming from somewhere, and that can only mean one thing. Worlds are starting to merge. Shovel the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Well, here goes ancient evils again. Agenda 2A, a trail of twists. In this void between realities, exactly, there can be no hope or joy, just the ceaseless toiling of spiders performing their great work, closer and closer to completion with each passing moment. Now, who am I to say that Atlatnacha can't complete this thing that it's always wanted to complete? You know, yes, it will bring about the doom of countless universes as it connects them and invades them, but, like, who am I to say that that's my, like, you know, this is your life's work. You know, I get it. Uh, it's got 9 Doom plus 2 is 11. When this agenda advances, do not remove Doom from locations in play. So we've got 2 to start, but it's out of 11. Not so bad. And we're going to draw an encounter card here at the Tangled Web. That is correct, Kung Fu Fenris. That is my thought. Tony's just like, blast! <laughs> so I started blasting. You know, that's his thing. Um, oh, boy. It's interesting, though. The webs come from the head and fingers of the beast, not the spinneret. It's more of a weaving of fate. Exactly. I love it. I think it's fascinating. Maybe maybe it is the fate of the dreamlands and the raking world to collide. The spinner in darkness. Attached to the nearest ancient one enemy. Attached enemy gets plus one damage and plus one horror. Test any skill five. If you succeed, discard the spinner in darkness. Well, that's actually okay, because the closest one is here, and I was planning on trying to kill it anyway <laughs> look all i'm saying is maybe the destroyer of the universe isn't so bad you know because here's the thing 
It's background to us. I get a resource from Lone Wolf. Let's party. I'm just going to get in there. How's my music situation? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is the action track anyway. Perfect. Oh, hi, cats. How's everyone? Oh, hi, Max. The cats are excited for... <laughs> oh, Crosshair. It's like top of my list. Honestly, top of my list. I'm trying to figure out how much more Vampire the Masquerade I want to play before I stream that. It's installed. It's ready to go. I'm so jazzed. Okay. First action. Tony's going to head back to the Great Web. Roar! The legs of Atlat Uh he, he carries with him the backpack full of strange gemstones, and he dumps them out onto the surface, glittering prizes that the leg starts to clack towards, searching for the source of the sound. Now that I'm here, let's attack. Oh god, Kung Fu Fenris, it's gonna take, oh god, it's gonna take years. <laughs> I appreciate knowing that, though, Kung Fu Fenris. Right, because I haven't gotten to Hollywood yet. But I must be almost there. Ripley, what? Why didn't you get up to the top? You can jump. You can jump there. Ripley just looks at me like... Every time... <laughs> She's so confused every time I talk to her. Okay. The Mauser! Unload an absolute... Right, the museum. No, I finished the museum. Kung Fu Fenris, were you there last week? We finished the museum. I hated it. I was so mad at all the security cameras and such. Right, 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 right. No, Hollywood, Chinatown, right. Yes, that's it. Okay. Fighting with the Mauser. So, uh, a, another stream of bullets erupts from the machine pistol as uh, Tony Morgan attempts to distract the leg long enough to get in close. Uh, so, I'm fighting at... Uh, well, it's got one combat. I have seven... That's, uh, that's uh, still a success by five. So I'm going to ready it and gain a resource and put two damage on this beast. Now I just need to succeed at another fight action here. Now that, um, you know, indeed he his calculations were correct, right? The machine pistol does indeed stun the leg briefly and it kind of stumbles back as he rushes in towards it drawing a small knife to jam up in between the joints of the leg. Uh, let's let's fight five to one. Well, okay, that's, that's, that's rough. It's still a success. Still a success. So we get it. We get the bounty on it. And we put the leg in the victory display. Uh, whoa, some of them are upside down. It's all very weird. And the spinner in darkness goes away. Okay, very good, very good. Do I want to explore? I think the answer is yes. I'm gonna move over. Tony is now, now that he's destroyed a couple of the legs and rendered them useless, Atlet Nacha still can't see him for the weaving that it is trying to do, but Tony's in control now. He's on the hunt. I'm going to head to this location, which is a three shroud, two clue location called Vast Web. If it is not Act 1, that's true, and there are one or fewer clues on this location, move. Move to the location directly across. Oh, I forgot I had clues. I can just blow up the legs. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep draws me a card, gains me a resource. It's the long cult. I might need that. We go to one, two, three out of 11 doom, and we draw an encounter card. Ah, see, this is what I was worried about. This is the spider playing. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna put a doom on it, Blah, or a bounty rather. Um, the spider of Lang is the, it is not just a, the same type of creature. It is the same creature that emerges from the darkness of the vast web. It is the same creature that Tony and Randolph tried to fend off in the narrow stairwell at St. Mary's Hospital. Perhaps the dreamlands are bringing back memories, fantasies from Tony's life. 
When the enemy phase ends, add a swarm card to each swarm of spiders in play. If there are no swarm of spiders, go get one, right? Because it summons more spiders. Great. So, uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kill it. I can't use the clues on it, eh? Deal three damage to an ancient one. Oh, hang on. Did I do it again? I didn't spin the thing. Spin that spider. Zero. Okay, so it doesn't spin. That's fine. We've got this horrendous beast, and I guess... Okay, well, this is, this is a bit unfortunate now, because now Tony's going to have to use the remainder of his weapon to deal with it. Uh, let's fight. I have seven combat against the three of the Spider of Lang. Tony's screams as he rushes towards the creature, hoping to, again, with the machine pistol, uh, drive its sort of head back and expose its underbelly as he races towards it. Let's fight seven to three. That's a success by four, no less. So we're going to ready it and gain a resource. And then we're going to do it again. Let's party. Seven to three. That's minus one. Yeah. So kill it. Take the resource off of it. Gain another resource from Mouser. Spider's dead. Feels good. Now we're looking at... Now we're sitting pretty on a lot of resources, which feels very good. Tony breathes heavily as he realizes what he's done. He starts to push the creature off just to make sure that... Uh, just to make sure that it doesn't attract more attention and it falls into the void below. I really want these clues... I want at least one more clue so I can move if I need to. So I have four into... Oh, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to investigate. I have four... Eight? Intellect? Other side. Feels really good. We get a clue off the location. Tony's venturing around and realizes that this vast web that seems to venture out into the darkness... In I completely agree the crosshair now it would be kind of poetic for tony to be able to struggle but succeed where his partner has failed so utterly it would be poetic i'm not saying that's what i want to happen ah i am saying i do want to i do want to win here okay what do i want to do here i want to wait because the legs might spin this way Spin this way. Um, should I get another clue? What do I want? What do I what do I want out of this deck or what is what is this? Uh I don't know. What do I need? I need to play the my gun, but I have a sleight of hand, so I'm just gonna leave that. Um You want your special artifact. Draw a card. Oh son of a <laughs> damn it, cross. Sorry, I knew that was going to happen. I was like, I'm going to draw a card. It's going to be the weakness. Ah, fine. That's fine. <laughs> Whoops. This is Tony's quarry. The beast, uh, the, the vast web, he can see straight across above Atlat Nacha Adventures, way up and above, and ventures to the other side of the, of the creature. And somewhere over there, a glint of light on fish scale. Exactly. Well, I, it, I think it costs an action. I think it costs an action. Yeah. But I could go there. That's true. Maybe I should. I should fucking kill this thing once and for all. Tony's quarry spawns at the location farthest from Tony. So that's directly across, isn't it? Aloof. After it enters play, place a doom and then a bounty. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, I am. Oh, I. Oh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you so good, buddy. Ugh. Ah, that's horrible. Enemy phase. No enemies move. Tony's quarry. I like that Tony's quarry is just aloof. Like, it just kind of wants to live its life. It's this horrible sea creature from Innsmouth, I think. But, you know, he's just kind of like, he's just living his best life. Like, what's he even doing here, you know? The legs continue their work. Atlet Nacha continues to ignore Tony. Upkeep brings us another mouser. And we go to the mythos phase. 
two, three, four out of 11 doom. I I think that might be the case, Crosshair. It's very, po God fucking damn it. Um, that's fine, it's fine. Ancient, e Gar ah! Ah! so much doom. So that's, I place a doom on the agenda. That's three, four, five, six out of 11. Oh, damn it, thanks, Crosshair. Spin that spider, minus one. So that's one location. Ooh, well, 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 what do we have here? One of the legs lands smash on the web directly in front of Tony, and he's just like, waste not, want not, ch -ch -ch, let's go. Um, I am, I am going to, I am going to kill this thing. Uh, a resource from Lone Wolf. More like Lone Wolf. Um, three action. Sleight of hand to put Tony's long colt into play. S quit. Ella, what are you doing out there? Get. Ella, go. Sorry, two seconds, team. Oh, there she is. Never mind. <laughs> there was some confusion about whose food was whose. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> A leg crashes down in front of Tony. Waste not, want not. And. With the speed of a seasoned professional, the long colt comes out of his back pocket and aims directly at the beast in front of him. Okay, so yeah, free trigger. We put we we slighted the mouser into, or sorry, the long colt into play. Fight. You get plus one for each bounty on it. It deals plus one damage. If you defeat an enemy with one or more. Okay, so. Free, uh, sorry, first action. I'm just gonna punch it. Wait, hang on. What does it have? It has three shroud here. I'm going to punch it with fire. I'm gonna <laughs> put on. I'm gonna commit a mouser. Is that right? No. I'm gonna use well connected. Yeah. We're just gonna punch it to start. Uh, Tony's going to sort of wrestle with the beast. Oh no, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because I want to defeat it with the long colt to put a bounty on bounty contracts, right? So uh, I'm going to wrestle with it, and we're fighting at five, but well connected. The connections here don't make a ton of lore and logic sense. Like, what kind of connections would help Tony, you know, with dealing with these spider legs? But perhaps it is con his connections to Innsmouth and the creatures there that have led him to realize that all living things have the same exact, exact he's connected to the other parts of the web um let's fight i'm nine to three just well i mean it was it was bound to happen wasn't it it doesn't have retaliate there it is baby all right let's oh mm, okay five Six, I'm going to commit the mouse search this next punch. Tony's sort of rushing forward, trying his best to, like, crack open some of the chitin so he can drive the long cold inside. Six to three this time. A skull, which is minus one, because there's only one doom on one location, or a few locations, so that's one damage. Successful. Then he manages to crack the chitin open just slightly, just enough to drive the long colt inside. Click, click, kaboom. We're going to fight with the long colt. You get plus one for each bounty on the attacked enemy. Whoops. What the hell? Um, which puts me at six to three. Not great. Oh! I keep forgetting I have clues. I'm going to use the clue next time. Six to three. Yeah, good, good, good. I defeated the enemy. Kaboom. We get a resource from bounty contracts. We are rich, baby. The leg collapses in on itself. Sinew no longer holding up. And Tony ventures across the bridge to the other location on the far side. Why? Because I want to destroy this quarry. Boop. This is the web stairs. Of course it is. Strands of sticky threads like rungs of a ladder ascend into the glittering violent radiance, radiance that envelops this cavernous void. At the top of the stairs, chittering at him, 
glubbing at him. His quarry, the strange half-fish, half-human beast that feasts on human flesh and taunts him at every turn. Perhaps it is merely a dream brought on by the Dreamlands, but Tony knows that if he's going to also defeat Atlat Nacha, he needs to defeat his own demons. Uh, what does it say? Oh, after this location is revealed, put a doom on it. Well, burp. <laughs> oh, in the enemy phase, Tony's quarry is aloof because it's way at the top of the thing. So we go straight to upkeep, where we draw a card and gain a resource, counter espionage, that feels good. And we go to the mythos phase. I place a doom on the agenda. Four, five, six, seven, eight out of 11 doom. And we draw an encounter card, Will of the Spider Mother. Test Will three. If there is a spider at your location, you cannot commit cards to the skill test. If you fail, you cannot attack or investigate until the end of the. Oh, damn it! Sorry, I keep forgetting. Crosshair, thank you, thank you. Spin that spider. Three locations. Ooh. <laughs> it's so funny. We. It goes up here. So this leg is. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna destroy that. Oh. Okay. Will of the Spider Mother. The will of the Spider Mother is to complete the, the bridge connecting the various uh, pieces of the universe together. Obviously, Tony cannot have this. He is going to attempt to resist the will of the Spider Mother so he can defeat his own demons before defeating the beast within. Uh, and without. The beast without. I have three willpower. I'm going to hit well connected to go up to seven to three. And I'm going to test this. Seven to three. That's good enough for me. Investigation. We get a resource. I'm going to save this game because I think we're going to be able to, after a very short break, continue and finish this scenario. I'm really excited. It's going great. Tony is excellent for this uh, finale where you're just blowing spider legs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Reading. Will of the Spider Mother. You're not my real mom. Blah. We're going to be right back, team. We're going to finish this off. Kill the legs. See what else we have to do. And then I believe there's an epilogue, too. So stick around. You won't want to miss that. See you in two seconds. All righty. Who's ready? I feel like I haven't forgotten anything in the scenario. <laughs> Other than probably something super important. Uh, but I do keep forgetting to spin the legs. I mean, okay, I can see how, I can see how, it's interesting, in a, in a multiplayer game, this scenario gets a lot harder, because the legs have like, six health, or nine health, all right, but you can, so you can spend clues to blow them up, but it still takes time, whereas the other finale scenario, where the gods dwell, gets so much easier because you're all drawing cards and trying to find versions of Nyarlathotep. I don't know. It's this weird sort of thing. Anyway, don't mind me. Tony Morgan has returned. He overcomes the will of the Spider Mother, and he is ready to face his own demons before facing the ones ahead of him. Uh, yeah. It's time to party, I think, right? Uh, oh, sorry, Long Colt would have come back to hand. That's my bad. So I think the first action is to play it back out. Because I feel like that's nice. Uh, Tony takes his time this time. Watching his quarry at the top of the bridge. Or sorry, of the... What is it? The s spinning steps? <laughs> the web stairs? Again, this place is... It is the merging of reality and dreaming all at the same time. Atlet Natcha does not care about either of those things. It seeks merely to link everything together. Atop this uh, web, uh, atop these stairs, this half fish, half human monster is staring down at Tony. It's waiting for him. It's taunting him to come and get him. Oh, hi, Crosshair. Welcome back. I've just started. I've just been doing a little, little. A little chatteroo. I put out the long cult again because it had been slighted into play before. We're going to engage Tony's quarry. And now 
we're gonna... Hmm. This is less good, actually. I guess we're gonna shoot it. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna shoot it with the long coal. Um, hmm. Six to four, huh? Well, that's not great. There's not actually a lot I can do about that. All right. Six to four? Hmm. Okay, no bueno. Let's try again. Uh, well, no, sorry, Crosshair. Yes, this was, uh, this was play the long colt, engage Tony's quarry because it's aloof, fight once, fight twice. I am, blah. it's okay. Wish I had another vicious blow. Bang, bang, bang. Let's try again. Six to four. And then I guess I'll try to figure out if there's something better I can do. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad, eh? Yeah. If the skill test fails during an attack against a spider, not a spider, just a terror from the deep. Okay, well, in the enemy phase, Tony's quarry is, you know, the, the long colt kind of fires off twice into the darkness, and the creature just laughs at him. Uh, I'm going to put a damage and a horror on Dario and a horror on me as it screams out of the darkness uh, a sound that shakes Tony to his core. Uh, now, it's... I, I always forget how this works. It attacks, and then it exhausts. It's aloof, right? Like, you have to engage it again, I'm pretty sure. Um, enemy engagement, enemy attack? How does it work? Aloof says... Doo -doo -doo. It says, basically, it's not doesn't automatically engage things. It may use the engage action or spin it... In a, cannot attack an aloof enemy while that enemy is not engaged. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm going to assume it just it goes back to being aloof, which is really annoying. And we go to Mythos Pachow! Scene of the crime. Doesn't really do anything for me. Maybe I just leave it. I thought Tony... I thought it would be nice for Tony to, like, defeat his demons so that he could, you know, move forward with his life, but maybe... Maybe his past will never... Maybe he'll never be able to outrun his past fully, you know? Maybe it's just not possible. It's time to play. Spin that spider. Aw, plus one means it doesn't move. If its modifier is negative, spin at let match a clockwise X times. Rule check, exhausting him in some way, doesn't disengage the enemy. An aloof enemy won't engage for himself, but the aloof trait doesn't force him to... Oh, well, 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 well. Now, annoyingly, of course, now I don't know if I really want to deal with this thing. But, like, it's here. You know what? Thank you, Crosshair, because it's here now, and I guess there's not a heck of a lot I can do. Uh, let's draw... Oh, no. Let's put a doom on the agenda. Boop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine out of 11. And we draw an encounter card. ka -chow! Oh no! The web spinner! Ah! It spawns at any empty location. I'm gonna put it like way over here in the corner. Uh, is that right? Yeah. That's not nice. Okay, we gotta hurry. Lone wolf. Okay, we gotta hurry. Mm. Put a bounty on it. Just in case. Thank you, Crosshair. I appreciate the rule check. That, was, that always kind of bothered me. I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure kind of what, yeah, what the res resolution of that was like, but that does make sense. Um, similarly in Innsmouth, there are, uh, I know there are enemies that say when it engages you, blah. So like it spawns, it engages you, it does a thing, you fight it, maybe you evade it. And then when it engages you again, it fights again, which sucks. Or it does the thing again, which sucks, but whatever. Okay. And uh, investigation phase. We gotta kill this thing. We gotta kill this thing. Um, Tony's quarry is for fight. I'm going to spend the last bullet. No, I'm gonna fight with my hands first. Yeah, nine. <laughs> Fighting at nine to four. Just a good old fist to face. But ciao. That's a good fist to face. Take that, ya monster thing. Oh, no, no. I, I think it's okay, Crosshair. It does make sense to me. It's just not clear in the rules, right? Like, if you've engaged it, 
Oh, Eruvana. I knew there was a reason I was streaming these instead of recording them. That is correct. The gun has fired off into the distance twice now, as Tony realizes what he's grappling with is perhaps a, only a figment of his imagination. And he's like, well, only one way to check. What? bam The pistol comes out butt to face. Uh, pistol butt to face. Ah, never, you know what, just never mind. <laughs> Uh, it smashes into the strange fish monster and it stumbles back squealing with pain as Tony lowers the gun yep there it is this is the image that 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 follows as Tony stands over it gun facing down let's party I'm gonna fire now um, I have five combat plus one is six uh, and I'm gonna throw in scene of the crime to be seven wish me luck that that is luck i like that very much okay Woo! so destroyed i place a bounty on bounty contract i get the resource from this one the doom goes away which feels great and tony's quarry is finally defeated <sighs> kind of stands he's waiting he's like okay it's like, you know, thinking to himself, he can overcome his demons, even if they're, you know, the mess of guts in front of him certainly feels very real, but he has to remind himself he's not necessarily in a place of reality any longer. I spend my third action to move up a location towards the last leg. Oh, it's the Great Web! The other Great Web. Um... Okay, and I am definitely going to try to get a clue off this location last action. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'll spend a flashlight charge. Four intellect to one shroud. Four to one? Four to one? Four to one, anybody? Four to one? Very good. Take the clue. The reason I'm getting the clue, the reason that Tony is venturing around and using the flashlight to see where this vast web goes is so that he can use it to travel to the other side, if necessary. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep phase, we draw a card, we gain a resource. <gasps> Hot streak, level two. I win again. Sorry, sugar. It's just not your night. Um, this is a quintessential uh, rogue card. The level four version is better, but obviously it's cost four experience, so... You can take the level two as sort of a stopgap and run in with a ton more time. And now, spending five to gain ten doesn't feel feels like a win more sort of situation. Uh, at the end of the round, yes, the level four version crosshair uh, is basically the same. It has a wild icon, and it just says spend three gain ten. Feels feels good, man. That is delicious. At the end of the round, the web spinner down here places a doom and we spin that spider one location okay okay that's okay I can get there and kill it quite easily um but what's the doom situation looking like six seven eight nine ten out of eleven and we draw an encounter card oh caught in a web Oh no! Oh, look at his hand! Ugh. Tony, of course, you know, revealing this other side of this vast web over top and underneath Atletnacha finds himself suddenly seeing one of the legs land further away. He starts running towards it and then finds himself unable to move. Stuck in a web, or sorry, caught in a web, uh, goes in my threat area. You get minus one agility. Ooh. and can't take more than one move action each round test combat three if you succeed discard it okay maybe i don't care yeah maybe i don't care investigation we draw a resource uh, we gain a resource from lone wolf Tony, you know, feeling these webs starting to glom onto his legs and so on. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly, Crosshair. He sees his victory. Atla Nacha seemingly has not yet realized that it is teetering on the edge of destruction. I'm going to move one location, first action. Um, this might gain a do. That's okay. I think it's fine at this point. Uh, and then second action, I'm going to spend a clue to deal three damage to the leg. Like, boom. I just feel like there's so many res there's so many clues in this scenario, you know? Gain a resource as we blow up the legs of Atlat Nacha. Boom. Oh, sorry. That was no one could see what that was. I mean we all know what they are. Tony moves in. And knowing this part of the location. You exactly, Crosshair. This is the thing. Oh, oh sorry, you were away. In the previous scenario, where the gods dwell, looking for the various near Lathoteps. Yeah, you can't talk about it, but four investigators means you're getting through that deck of cards four times faster. Yes, they're clogging up your hand. Yes, it's all garbage. But the likelihood is you're going to end up with a couple copies, and you're going to try to figure out, like, where to go. Oh, I think I need to go west, you know, and you like, oh, I, would, I, I don't have any need to go north, and you can kind of, like, talk about it. In this scenario, all of a sudden... Yeah, 12 health. Like, what the heck? Using the uh, islands that he scouted out before, Tony is able to get a running leap and lands on one of the legs of this massive beast, crushing it down. Advance. Act 2B, The Queen's Wrath. Having severed the spi wretched spider's legs and unraveled the webs on it stood on, you hoped that this would send the thing careening into the endless void below. But as it falls, more thin, jagged legs erupt from below its abdomen, and it grips onto a nearby platform, just barely catching itself. The horrible maw, which extends down the length of its worm-like head, wrenches open. From it emerges a screech, like a thousand nails on a chalkboard. Yeesh. Flip at Latnatch's center card over to its enemy side. Balls. Place it at the location with the most doom. Now, uh, that's there's four different locations that have the most doom as of right now. I might just put it at mine. Let's have a look. Oh, at Latnatch of the Spider God. A 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Massive. Two damage to horror. When it leaves a location... If there are no investigators at that location, place a doom there. Otherwise, it attacks. Okay, so when it leaves... When it leaves... It deals... It attacks you. Or it puts a doom if you're not there. Okay. Ugh. Um... Ooh, I, okay, it's a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I'll read the next act, but, like, I don't have any weapons or anything, so... Maybe I want to, yeah, maybe I want to, I think I want to put it here. And then it's near me, so I can still go to it, but it won't be on my location. The Scheme's Demise, Act 3A. You are the last line of defense against the creatures that scheme to devour your world. Spend a clue, deal three damage to an ancient one. When the mythos phase re uh, begins, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If its modifier is negative, move at let natural clockwise x times. It's that negative modifier. If it is defeated, advance. Okay. Oh. Well, it only has four health. Oh, I should have put it on my location. Oh, balls. Uh, well, okay, I'm going to put a bounty on it. <laughs> <laughs> time to die uh i can't move because of caught in a web so i guess what does tony do here oh i get okay well i get rid of caught in a web right yeah i get rid of caught in a web and i i i try to tear myself away from it well this is the hope crosshair if it rotates one location it'll come to me I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try to deal with this thing. Um 5 plus 5 is 10 to 3. That's still what's that -3, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Caught in a web goes away. 
Great. This was a bonus action, but I didn't get it this round. Wait. Do I? No. Because I can only fight or engage. Okay, cool. So, enemy phase. No enemies. Upkeep. Draw cards. Gain resources. Take the initiative. And this web spinner over here places another doom on its location. The web spinners continue their horrible, horrible work uh, as Atlet Natcha screams. And then seeing its prey, the thing that has caused it so much pain and hurt, scuttles towards it at a pace that is unnerving. When the Mythos phase begin begins, reveal a random co chaos token from the chaos bag. Ta-da! The skull, which is minus X, highest amount of doom on a location is two. So Atlet Natcha will move one, two locations. Okay, that's fine. It says when it leaves a location, place a doom there, or it attacks each person. So the spider god screams by trying to find refuge in its uh, great web um, and manages to uh, it's, it's you know horrific poisoned claws scratch uh, him as it ventures by uh, I think I yeah it left my location so I take two damage and two horror uh, I'm gonna kill Dario and take one of each <laughs> Yeesh! Okay, okay, and then we go to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Doom. That's a lot of Doom. So we remove all of this Doom in play, and we flip. Agenda 2B of Stars and Webs. A light flashes in the distance beyond strands of ethereal webbing. An explosion thousands of light years away. Radiant light ripples through the web bridge. The silken threads reflect the luminescence of a shattered nebula. A brilliant shine burns your pupils. When the glow finally dims, the bridge is resplendent with cosmic energy. It's almost over now. Soon the bridge will connect the two worlds, and there will be nothing left but Atlatnatcha and its horde. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Don't mind if I do. Agenda 3A realities interwoven in the distance untold horizons away stars glimmer and burn with the power of countless other worlds the shimmering strands of web all around you pulse with the same light atlet Nacha is trying to connect the dreamlands and the waking world and in such is drawing power from across the known universe it has 11 doom plus two is 13 but i'm starting on one two three four five six <laughs> Drawn encounter card. Crip chill. Yeah. Well, that's it, Crosshair, right? Like, it, it would appear that Randolph Carter was Nyarlathotep all along and was just like, oh, good, you're here. Kill this, this piddling thing for me while I go and deal with my plan, whatever that is. I don't mind the Crip chill. I don't mind it because I'm going to lose something I don't really care about. Big fail, uh, but I'll lose the flashlight. The flashlight tumbles from Tony's grip uh, as he realizes the enormity of this creature. But how do we do this? Okay, so it's very simple. Move, spend a clue, spend a clue, and kill it, right? Spend a clue, spend a clue, and kill it. Is it an ancient one enemy? Yes, I have clues. So yeah. Uh... Ah. Well, except Atlet Natcha doesn't say it doesn't make attacks of opportunity. So, instead, because spend a clue, deal three damage is an action. Right? Like it's a sorry, it's 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 not a fight evade blah blah blah. Can I take more damage and four horror? The answer is no. I can't. I can't even take one hit. Here's what I would do. Walk in, evade, and then clue clue. 
I don't even have four actions. Walk in, evade, clue. To blow up it. Blow it up. Oh, and then fight! And then fight last action, because I would have a free action to fight. I would fight with my fists, five to four. <laughs> so stupid. There's no way. And then if it left my location, I would be dead. Well, the evade is a little ahem, but I do have well connected. Which just straight up gives you a, a bunch of skill value. So like, oh, this should be two anyway. That's not crazy. Because the alternative is I go and find some soak. One, two, three, four, five, six, doom. Seven. Maybe eight out of 13. Like, it does, but what if I die? I really don't want to lose this. This feels so close. Move in, evade, punch, and then move in, evade, punch, and then spend a clue to do three damage. considering my options here. The alternative is I wait, right? I go, I draw some soak. I uh, find another weapon, which would give me additional damage. Yeah. Oh, thank you, reading. <laughs> you know, weirdly enough, it does. <laughs> That's it, Crosshair. So I'm losing a doom. I'm losing a doom from the web spinner. If at Latnacha moves... I'm losing a doom from the great web. That's three down. One, two, three, four, five, six out of 13. So I'd be at nine out of 13. Oh, and then I could like move, move across. Like, oh my God. Because what's the game plan? If I draw cards, what's even in my deck? There's another long colt, I think. Lost two Mausers and a Long Colt. So there's another Long Colt. And there's um my extra soak, which is something I just got. I think I have to go for it. Isn't this wild? I think I just have to do it. <sighs> I think I have to do it. Yeah. You know what? If we go insane, then at least both me and uh, <laughs> at least Tony and Luke will be insane together. We move in. At Latinacha, the spider god turns and its maw erupts in that shrieking nails on the chalkboard sound. This is a massive enemy, so I don't have to engage it or anything. Um, let's see. Okay. So that's first action. My second action, which is... Uh, quote unquote free action will be to fight I have five combat I'm going to commit take the initiative to be seven to four okay <laughs> Tony lands a hit on the beast um... oh hi Max do you want to come see the finale Come see the finale? Oh, you're right. No? Okay. Tony manages to land uh, a hit directly, sort of near the, the, like, just to the side of the maw of the beast, and it kind of staggers back on the side here. It, it is absolutely, well, massive and horrific. Tony is trying his best to maintain uh, his own sense of uh, sanity as he watches the creature shriek and claw at him. And he knows this is the moment that he needs to succeed. If I spent a clue here, uh, I would take the attack of opportunity and die. So I have to evade it first. So he's going to essentially slide underneath the creature as it's flailing so that when he comes up behind it, he'll be able to grab it around the maw and stuff 
what remains of his long colt into its mouth. There's enough gunpowder in there to at least set off a little explosion, he figures. So we're going to evade. I have two evade. Well connected takes me up to seven. Right, plus five. Seven to four. There's, there's sweat here. There's sweat somewhere around here. What is that? What is that? What is a skull? No, I no 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 committing. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. It's minus X, the highest amount of doom on a location, which I believe is two. Ooh. Tony slides under the creature, popping up on the other side. He pulls out his long colt. Now out of long out of bullets, but certainly with more than a wait, hang on. Ah, sorry. After you evade it, it says here, after you evade it, instead of exhausting it, choose an investigator. It can't attack the chosen investigator this round. I'll choose myself. So it doesn't exhaust. But it can't attack me. So instead, he jams the long colt down its throat, knowing that the gunpowder inside will set off a chain reaction. Is that is that crazy? I don't know if that's crazy. I'm spending a clue to do three damage to this goddamn monster. Boom. I know. Honestly, crosshair, wild. So let's talk about that for two seconds. Uh, I took Hot Streak. I didn't play it. I played a Lone Wolf. Bounty Contracts. The Mouser gave me about three or four resources. I think it gave me sort of, it, like, netted me maybe one or two. Yeah, Lone Wolf. It's a good card. <laughs> Hashtag good card. Um, and I played a bunch of stuff, too. Act 3B, Falling Down. The creature thrashes about violently. Oh, of course, the long colt in the, like, the long colt sort of, like, mini explosion thing, it's not meant to kill it, it's just meant to knock it enough that he can then throw it off the side of the rock that they're both on. The creature thrashes about violently as its webbing is ripped apart. The shimmer fades from the bridge's threads. In the distance, the cosmic array of lights winks out of existence star by star. The spider's pained screech is deafening. You're not sure if it would be possible to kill such a creature such as this, but you have done more harm to it in destroying its life work than you could have ever done with bullets and blades. Okay, so, okay, a little different from what I figured, but I think as it stumbles around, maybe it tears some of the webbing and it starts to fall apart. As the woven threads of spider silk unravel, this realm's many suspended platforms of rock crumble and collapse into the endless ether below. You struggle to find something to stand on or grab hold of. Without the support of the web bridge, the entire dimension collapses all around you. With a final desperate screech that echoes throughout this world between worlds, Atlatnacha plunges into the internal darkness below. You are quick to fall. Resolution 1. You clutch a silken thread, the only thing that keeping you from plummeting through the endless depths of the void. In your campaign log, record the bridge. But the bridge was destroyed. That feels great. That feels really good. Each investigator earns experience equal to Victory X, and they earn five bonus experience as they've prevented the Dreamlands and reality from merging. Well. Just for funsies, one, two, three, four, five, plus five is 10 experience. Any on locations or anything? No, no, I'll take my 10 experience though. <laughs> I'm not gonna have anything to spend it on, but whatever. Check the campaign log. Resolve the topmost option that applies. <gasps> if the investigators found a way out of the underworld. Skip to resolution three. If the investigators are trapped in Atlatacha's realm, skip to four. So we did find a way out of the underworld because we did that weird stone tower thing. Resolution three. In the distance, you can see the tower that loomed behind the spider god as it spun its web, the entrance beckoning you closer. You recall the tower of Koth in the underworld and the way to the surface. Is this the root of that same tower? Does it penetrate through this world between worlds? If so, you might be able to escape. 
Instead of climbing back the way you came, you swing your web from side to side and make a leap through the void, landing at the base of the tower. Then you begin the long climb up, above the surface of the Sea of Pitch, under the ground beneath the city of Gugs, then farther upward still. Finally, after... Woof, so Tony went down an infinite staircase, now he's going up an infinite staircase. Finally, after miles and miles of restless travel, you push aside the stone slab at the top of the tower, and you emerge in the enchanted wood. You seal the entrance behind you. Nothing from the hellish underworld can follow you here. For the first time since entering the dreamlands, you breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> Recalling the first chapter of Virgil Gray's story, you follow a narrow path through the woods until you reach a staircase of solid stone that ascends into the clouds. It is time to return home. The investigators returned to reality. Oh, but you suffer two physical trauma. Well, I mean balls from the fight. We found our way home. That was not what it said. It said they returned to reality. The investigators, Tony, returned to reality. I like to think that he managed to defeat his demons as well down there, which is quite, quite wild. If you're playing them as an internet-connected companion, blah, 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 proceed to epilogue. Read this epilogue only if you are playing the Dream Quest and the Web of Dreams as an interconnected eight-part campaign. I know, right, Crosshair? Phew! Otherwise, you'd be dead. Do not read this epilogue until both are completed. Check for both, check both campaigns. Use the matrix to find the epilogue that applies to your situation. Well, that's not good. The investigators return to reality. And uh, I imagine it's Nyar Lathotep's invasion has begun. Uh, I have to check. I have to check because I think that's probably what happened. Yeah, okay, you're right. I didn't write it down, because I didn't want to. I did, Kung Fu Fenris, we blew it up. Now, unfortunately, Luke Robinson was not so lucky. So, we proceed to epilogue two. So, you've made it back to your world. I hope you had a pleasant trip. Yes, your erstwhile companions are awake once more. Yay, Luke Robinson's awake! Wait, I thought he went insane. But they're not the same, are they? Oh, of course they're not. They might not remember their dreams, but that does not mean they did not happen. Do you not see the glimmer in their eyes? Have you not noticed them whispering to some other entity when you're not around? Yes, that one. You know of whom I speak. Don't worry. You at least have some time before the end. Just remember, I did warn you. The two groups were reunited in the waking world. Or were they? The investigator averted one form of destruction, but not the other. Well, balls. <laughs> so, I won't read the rest. It would appear that Tony managed to get back out, climbing the stone steps up the tower, and then venturing back up through the gates of sleep and awakening well, returning once more to the land of the living, just as Luke Robinson wakes up. Something is different about Luke now that since his time in the dream worlds. Something that he saw there calls to him. And exactly, Crosshair. Tony will never tell Luke Robinson about the disaster he averted. But little do they both know that Nyarlathotep awaits his return. And that does it for the Dream Eaters. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Uh, could this be the first campaign that actually ended in some form of victory? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> some form? Does it count? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Nyarlathotep's happy because the spider didn't win. So maybe Nyarlathotep's just going to chill for a while. It's possible. Anything's possible. Team, I'm thrilled. I think that was a lot of fun. Yeah, some form of victory. I mean, look, uh, Kung Fu Fenders, in this game, I'm going to take it, okay? <laughs> I'll take what I can friggin' get. Sorry, I'm trying to plug something in here. Eh, eh, good enough. There we go. Um, Thank you all so much for... Oh, an excellent double adventure. 
I liked it, Crosshair. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me for this. It's been wild. It's been crazy. Uh, I, yeah, I'm thrilled. I think at some point I'll do, like, I probably won't do it on stream, but I just might post my thoughts in the Discord or something. Unless people want to stream on this sort of subject, but I doubt it. Um, or maybe I'll get myself on an actual Arkham podcast to talk about my experience. I don't know. Um, but some of the campaigns have been a really good time. Some of them have been a bit less a bit less exciting because I didn't build a deck well or it didn't go well or whatever. Um, but I think the Dreamlands, the, the Dream uh, Quest is very cool. Uh, the double-sided campaign is fun. Yeah, there you go. If you did Twombed, we could talk about it together. It's true, Crosshair. And you could, as, as a viewer, you could be like, oh, I thought you were terrible in this campaign, but when we played together, we were great. <laughs> or whatever. Excuse me. So, that just about does it for Doomed for now. I have another campaign upcoming at some point, um, which will be the Innsmouth Conspiracy, the conspiracy that grips the small seaside town of Innsmouth, where the fish people... Uh, live horrible um that may be starting soon in a week or two perhaps or it might hold off if twombed makes a return crosshair and i have been discussing possibilities i am still not sure what campaign or scenario would be best so crosshair we should definitely talk i did find a little um sheet crosshair like a google sheet of all of the things that exist that we could sort of potentially play. So, you know, you could kind of give your two cents and I can have a look at them, make sure they are not broken. Um, but stay tuned because Doomed and or Twombed will be returning at some point in the future. It's been a blast. As we mentioned on Nancy Drew, it's a, it's a, it's a weekend of endings, isn't it? Arkham will return. Yeah, because there's still more content. You can't get rid of me yet. Uh, it's a whole weekend of endings. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern, although, uh, is going to be, sorry, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern is the King's Dilemma game session three on RPG Clinic. But of course, thank you very much, Crosshair. Tomorrow is day, or tonight, is daylight savings times for us, uh, which I need to remember. Um, so check the times before you log on or just wait for us to go live and we'll see what happens. Hi, Ella. So it's been a blast and a half. Thank you all so, for much, so much for joining me on Doomed. I'm thrilled that we were able to do this and, um, you know, survive for now. But isn't that the best we can do? Have a great night, everybody. Bye.